Man, I said straight up, you should pour another drink. I guess it helps you wake up. Go out, be another fake with makeup. Just to make up for the fact that you just another fake. I know you just an act, cause you ready to face me. I said straight hey, up. Hey, what is going on, my slippity slats? My name is Senra. Welcome back to another episode of Smell Review. Alrighty. Hitoro Bochi. I can't pronounce the rest, but I know that much. Hitoro Bochi. Another slice of life anime that I have ruled. <laughs> uh, I love this show. Okay. And it's okay. It's going to be a little complicated that I'm going to explain this. Okay. So. I guess with I guess let's just get let's just let's get into this okay so uh, let's just explain I'm gonna do my best I'm gonna explain and then I'll see if I can get get my point across so Hitori Bochi is a story about um, Bochi Hitori who has very bad social anxiety like she literally had like like literally the first time she tried interacting with someone she threw up so. Literally the first time she interacted with someone, she threw up. So that there sets a precedent of, like, how bad it is for her. But it doesn't, you know, like, it doesn't stop there. Um, I mean, she just has a lot of, like, um, issues herself. Like, she, um, yeah, like, you know, I, you're going to have to give me a sec, right? Because, uh, you see, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna let me explain what's on my mind here when I'm trying to explain, okay? The this whole concept, right, of just anxiety, and then the whole thing with freaking uh, Sokota, her freaking uh, whole ordeal where she is like alone, like she doesn't have that any friends, like. She comes home to no one. She lives alone. So every time... She she basically pulls a Kakashi, right? He says, I'm, uh, I'm home and I'm leaving. Even though, you know, there's no one in the home. And it's depressing. And, you know, interestingly, you know, a lot of, a lot of aspects in this show are very deep. Like... I think for a comedy, it does it does have its moments where it makes you laugh, but it has so many deep meanings to it about friendship, your str about being stronger together, and that it's okay the it's okay to settle with what you have. You can you it's always good to strive to have more, right? Like she wants to become friends with everyone in her class, and that's good. I think that's a good thing you can strive for. But I f but it also reminds you that you know sometimes you can't always strive for the exact goal but that you should be able to be humble with what you get. And then in her case that she can be okay knowing that she can't get friends with everyone in class. But that she can cherish the friends that she actually has around her, with Nako and Aru, and then Sok uh, so Sotoka. Jeez, I don't know their their names. I love them, but it's a little difficult at times. It's all right though. What I'm trying to say though is that for such a freaking comedy, it it has such a deeper, powerful meaning. And I hate that it's making me tear up a little right now, cause it's stuff like it, it's stuff like that right now that hits a little close to home, and it's something I can relate to. I'm hoping those are fireworks going off outside right now. Anyway, like I was saying, it hits real close to home, and um. I'm thankful I watched this 
Because not only was it wholesome, but, you know, like, it, it was really touching, really endearing. And, I mean... I feel like this is something I would recommend to someone because it's it's very relatable and like just by looking at it you might you know feel like it's a weird thing to watch but really it's probably like the most relatable show for someone that you know goes through that social anxiety and I think a lot of people can connect to that and that's what I really like holy sh Yo, I hope those have yo. Those are fireworks, okay? Cause that was too loud of a boom, like like it was drawn out, right? So that's how you know it's a firework. It wasn't nothing else, nothing uh, demon demonetizable. So yeah. Anyway, they're throwing me off. Um, yeah, no. I don't even know what else to say about it other than like you know that's really what I love about this show is it's. Um, message underlying message and what it's trying to portray and how they go about it it really it hits that's all I'm that's all, I think that's all I can really say is that it hits um, and one other thing I loved about it was um, the meme <laughs> And yeah, and then there's like the the freaking edits where it's like her um, what's it called? Content aware scaled scaling, and then it's just all jumbled up. It's uh, yeah, I see. I saw it on TikTok, and I think that's what got me to watch this show because I once I saw that scene, I realized like, oh, I know where the, know where I found this from. So yeah, um, but I'm it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter where I found it. I'm just thankful that I got a chance to watch this show. And I'm giving my thoughts, and I would say this is a definite recommend to watch. Okay, I would 100% recommend that you guys should watch this. Um, you know, like for it's just a show. Okay, there are guys, but the main cast is all like middle school girls. And if you're not weird, don't be weird. Okay, you'll actually really find this show super wholesome, and yeah, I mean, I don't know what else I can say um, other than it being run on sentences right now. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on Hirobochi, and I, I love it. So, all right, let's jump um, to Future Me real quick, and let's see which anime I pick next. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, we are here. Let's go ahead and let's just get to it. Like, no wasting time. We're going to spin. All right, let's go. Oh. Already, just that quick, we got the Fate series, bro. This is literally something. Okay, this. Okay, 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 okay. You know, I've been saying right. I've been wanting to watch a little bit of a long anime. Okay, I've been wanting to watch something that I can, you know, watch for a while. Okay, now this watch order I've heard it can be a little complicated so I'm gonna do a little research I'm gonna figure out a good way or the watch order for this show and uh Jesus Christ dude they are going ham out there with the fireworks dogs are barking wow anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna look up the watch order for this and yeah I I'm ex dude this is awesome. I'm excited for this. Let's add this to him. Let's add this. Or let's do it. Add it to watching. Heck yeah. Adaptation prequel. There you go. Yeah. Wait. Pre but wouldn't that be the sequel though? Because prequel is... Yeah. Oh. Anyway, it's confusing, so that's why I said I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, figure out the watch order. Anyway, wasted enough time. Let's hop back to past me. Yeah, alrighty. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Um, subscribe if you, or dislike button, okay? Okay. You can hit the like or dislike. Either way, it'll help me grow as a content creator. And if you want to watch more of this smile review and snack review, be sure to hit that like button. 
not like button, that subscribe button, that big old red one, and turn on notifications, or don't, I could care less because I'm doing this for fun for me. So, hope you guys have enjoyed. Till next time, stay sexy.